Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to Madam Rahayu and everyone. My name is Tifati Ma'az Zahra and my team member Kausalia and Tifia Al-Hakila. Today, we are presenting about batik. Next slide. Batik is both an art and a craft. It is part of an ancient tradition of Nail community and well-known among the contemporary artists all over the world as a wonderful creative medium. The word batik originates from the Javanese word amba which means to write and tit which means to dot. Batik is an art of painting using wax to produce pattern on fabric. The wax serves as a color separator during the process of dyeing the fabric. There are two commercial ways of painting the batik pattern on fabric, which is hand-drawn batik and block-printed batik. Hand-drawn batik is when the artist sketches the batik pattern with free hand, while the block-printed batik is using a copper block that already has a pattern. Batik symbolizes the identity of Malay community regardless of whether in Malaysia or Indonesia. Nowadays, today's society, especially teenagers and youngsters, are no longer appreciate the art of batik and glorify Western culture more. There are some of them who do not even know what batik is or the production process. Next slide. Our first vision is to introduce and demonstrate the importance of maintaining batik as a Malaysian identity and Malaysian society. This vision will be achieved through the creation of infographic poster, video, and also through a writing for writing about the process of making batik, history of batik, batik cultures, and many other related info about batik. The info will be shared through the social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Social media platform was chosen because nowadays, almost all societies have at least one social media account and it will be visible to more people, especially the younger generation who use social media almost every moment of their life. The second vision is to apply batik design and motifs to modern clothing. For this vision, it will be achieved through the production of modern clothing products such as t-shirts, caps, sweatpants, tracksuits, denim, jackets, bags, and many others that are applied with batik motifs that can attract youngsters to wear them. Some youngsters become disinterested in batik because they think that batik can only be worn in the form of kind batik only. So, by producing uh, modern clothing with a batik motif applied to it, it may attract the youngsters to wear it and love batik. Next slide. So this is some of the modern clothing that are applied with a batik motif or art on it. Uh, they are t-shirt, jacket, coat, denim, mask, hat, cap and bag. Next. There are three goals that we want to achieve. Firstly is to make the younger generation, older generation and even the whole world to know about batik. The process, the history and every detail of it to make them appreciate and glorify the batik product as well as evoke a sense of pride when they wear it. Next is to include batik motif in modern clothing to make the youngster love batik and develop their minds that batik can not only be worn as a sarong but can also be worn with modern clothing that will feel comfortable and follow current trends. Lastly is to make youngster love to wear a batik product every day in their life and feel proud of it. When batik has become an interest and attraction to young people today, Malaysian identity with the art of batik culture will be able to be maintained until the future. Next. There are four marketing strategies that we choose to achieve our goals. Firstly, is using a social, social media marketing. Secondly, is using a video advertising marketing. Thirdly, is through an influencer marketing. And lastly, using a content marketing. Next, I will pass to the next presenter, Pushy Ali Akila. The, the first point of marketing is social media. Social media was the first targeted platform that has been chosen by the people who have a businesses because it is a very easy for them to market their product to the world since everyone has their own smartphone and always holding the smartphone in hand. For example, Instagram is used to share to buyers that batik can also be produced with many different types apart from the saro, which is often used for batik production and this platform is also used to attract attention of the young people. Second, Facebook is used to share stories to buyers about the production and also the batik product itself in the form of writing. Last but not least, YouTube is used to post videos about the history of batik, the process of making batik and related to batik. Next. The second point of marketing is video advertising. Through this video advertising, batik videos can be advertised into other people's video that can be played before, during and after in the video. Video advertising can also be posted on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and other social media platform. This is because indirectly it can increase the sales 
of traders in Bati Elsef. Next, I will pass to the next presenter, Kausalia. Thank you, Kuchi Ali Akila. Next, I'm going to explain more about the marketing platform that we chose, which is the influencer marketing. It adopts the help of well-known specialty content providers to raise brand recognition, increase sales and communication with targeted customers. Influencer marketing succeeds because it uses strategies including word of mouth marketing and social evidence that have become key parts of every successful marketing strategy. A few influential persons will be selected to speak about Bate and persuade others to be engaged in Bate designs and motifs. A few well-known models also will be picked to model the Bate products and services in order to convince others to buy and enjoy them. Last but not least, we chose the content marketing as another marketing platform. It is an advertising approach that involves developing and distributing recent studies, videos, podcasts, as well as other media in order to attract, connect, and maintain an audience. This strategy creates competence, raises brand recognition, and keeps the company top of mind when it comes time to purchase the product. To accomplish this company's first vision, the details regarding Bate will be provided. To fulfill the company's second aim, the content producer can incorporate the products and services of Bate that have already been made or that can be created in their video. I'll pass back to the previous presenter, Putri Alia Akila. Next is Campaign Insign. Campaign Insign is where the trader needs to know what is being taught and also what is being filled by the target. By that, it can help traders to produce or attract the attention to buy things being sale. There are some examples that can be used to get buyer's attraction. For example, is to hold a cheap sale or make a sale offer to them. For example, if the buyer buys but they above the set price, the buyer will get a free gift or get a discount for the purchase of the second item. Second, give the voucher to buyer. For example, when buyers buy but the item sold in the store, they will be given a voucher that can only be obtained if the buyer comes directly and buy and buys in the in the store by working in each offer given is a situation where each part gets their own profit profit on by the trader is that the goods sold will be known to many and the goods sold will quickly run out while the advantage of buyers is that they get a discount on goods produced with high quality and also expensive. Moreover, buyers get free gifts that are difficult to own. I will pass back to the Kausalia. Thank you, Puchi Alia Akila again. Uh, now for the last section of this presentation, which is the segmentation and targeting. Uh, segment, segmentation is the division of a market into different categories focused on the demographic, geographic, psychographic, and behavioral characteristics of the population. While targeting is an approach of focusing marketing activities on a certain number of consumers in order to sell a company's products, services, or solutions. The potential, the potential customers of our company are youngsters and adults. We encourage youngsters to become our consumers uh, since they dress in the latest styles. Our company, on the other hand, intends to improve this by incorporating batik motifs and styles into modern attire such as pants, shirts, hats, masks, bags, and other items as previous, previously mentioned. We would also like young people to learn further about batik and its significance in Malaysia. There would be an explanation of what bate is and how to make it. The youngsters also can see how bate is produced, giving them an understanding of how tough and essential bate is. Next, we encourage adults to become our consumers, also although they have been familiar with bate. We would like to remind them and show them more of the process. To attract the adults, we intend to improve and, and enhance the motif and style. They can use batik motifs and styles and styles on sarongs, baju melayu, baju kurungs, and other formal clothing. In conclusion, 
through positive acceptance and awareness from all parties involved on the significance of craft to the social patterns and norms, Bate art is seen as able to contribute to the development of young generation that is knowledgeable, admires cultural inheritances, competent, creative, and competitive. These targeted Bate initiatives and products will attract the younger generation and the community to better appreciate and recognize the art of Bate heritage. That's all from us. Thank you.